In this demo, we'll look at notification support in Border Zero. Using notifications, you'll be immediately notified when someone logs into one of your servers or if there's a new audit event in one of your accounts. Border Zero supports two types of notifications, email and webhook. The latter can be used to notify you and your team in Slack. In this demo, you'll see you can configure notifications to alert on either session log events or audit events. Session log events are triggered each time someone logs into one of your Border Zero sockets. For example, someone accessing an HTTP, SSH, or database server that's made available through Border Zero. Audit events, on the other end, are events related to your Border Zero account setup. This means any create, modify, or delete event to any of the items in your Border Zero account. For example, the creation of a new socket or the deletion of a socket. All right, now let's go and set up our Slack notification to start. I'm following the docs on docs.borderzero.com. On the left-hand side, you can see set up notification. And then uh, to see the Slack specific in, uh, notification setups, you can click on Slack notification or integration on the, on the right there. Okay, um, the, note, the documentation will tell you to go to the Slack admin web interface. Um, and from there, you need to configure a new incoming webhook. I already did that, so I'm going to just copy paste that URL and use it to configure a webhook notification in the portal. In the portal, I'll go to organization settings on the left and then notifications and then we click new notification and in this case I'll select webhook. Once in there, we'll need to give it a name. Uh, I will give it the name Slack notifications. You can either enable or disable this rule. For now we'll enable it. I'll copy paste in the URL that I got from Slack, the webhook URL. Uh, and then you need to select what type of events you want to be notified on. Here I'll select all the session logs. All right, now that we have our first notification set up, it's time to test it. On the left side, you see my Slack window. I have a channel there called Infra Notification, and this is where the new webhook notifications will end up. And on the right, I have a shell terminal, and we're going to SSH to a server that I made available through Border Zero. Now, each time I try and access this server, server1.borderzero.app, it should create a Slack notification. So let's give it a try. So let's log in here. As you can see on the left, the notification came in and on the right hand side, you can see that I'm logged into the server. Um, in Slack, you can see all the details such as the server name I logged into. You can see who I authenticated as. So in this case, Andre at borderzero.com as well as my IP and country as well as the full policy evaluation results showing you why I was allowed in. Okay, now let's do the same for an email notification, set up an email notification rule. Uh, so let's give it a name. In this case, um, I'll select email alert. Uh, I'll use my personal email, atunk at gmail.com as the recipient. I'll keep the pre-selected notification events and just select session logs. So we create that. So now that's done, we have a new email notification rule. Time to test it. I'll test it by logging into the same SSH server again, server1.borderzero.app. You can see I'm in, so that worked. Now let's see if I have an email. Yeah, I can see the new email just came in, letting me know that there was a new login to server1.borderzero.app. You can see it was by Andre at borderzero.com and I can see all the other various details. So now as an administrator, I immediately know what happened. Thanks for watching the demo on notifications in Border Zero. As you can see, it's super easy to set this up. I want to remind everyone to visit portal.borderzero.com slash register to sign up for free and start accessing your SSH, database, or web services using just your SSO credentials. It's super easy to get started, and I'm sure you won't be disappointed.